Kenyatta National Hospital at Melchizedek Hospital, Texas Cancer Center, and of course at the Uhuru Park. That is um, free cancer, cervical cancer screening. Now, I have my doctor with me, Dr. Geoffrey Mutuma, who is actually a consultant pathologist. Dr. first, <laughs> tell us how pathology and uh, cancer relate. Right. I think uh, pathology is actually the study of the diseases. And uh, before somebody is taught to have cancer, the first doctor he has to see and the first doctor to make a diagnosis is a pathologist. Mm -hmm. Normally, when somebody has any swelling anywhere, that swelling is supposed to be removed and attended with a pathologist. Mm -hmm. And the pathologist is one who says uh, this is cancer or this is not cancer. Mm -hmm. Remember that when we are talking about cancer of the cervix, there are almost 10 types of cancer of the cervix. Mm -hmm. uh, the word cancer is, is actually uh, 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 the disease, but there are several types of cancer of the cervix. Mm -hmm. And that's the, the, the only person and the only doctor who can say this is cancer of the cervix, and this is the type of cancer of the cervix. Mm -hmm. it's, on, it's only the pathologist. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and the treatment of every cancer subtype, it depends on the pathologist. So the pathologist is the doctor who actually makes the diagnosis of cancer before we start the treatment. Mm -hmm. The fastest the patient comes with the symptoms is seen by a doctor. Um, uh, for cancer of the cervix, mainly it's uh, seen by a gynecologist. And after the gynecologist sees that, that uh, 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 patient, he removes a biopsy, he, he removes a small tissue from that tumor or from that swelling. And that swelling is looked by a pathologist. We call it histopathology. Mm -hmm. And then when the, the, the pathology looks at the, at, at, the, at the tissue, mm -hmm. he says, this tissue which is swollen from the cervix, this is cancer of the cervix, and this is the type of the cancer of the cervix. Mm -hmm. The common cancer of the cervix is, uh, we call it uh, uh, squamous cell carcinoma of the cervix. Mm -hmm. There's also adenocarcinoma of the cervix. Mm -hmm. There's also a squamous adenocarcinoma of the cervix. There are so many of them. And uh, when somebody is told, say that he has got cancer of the cervix, mm -hmm. it, is, it, is, it is general term, but there are several types of cancer of the cervix, and that's the pathology who sees it, even before that. Mm -hmm. When we say that we are doing the screening, uh, when the recommended type of screening for cancer of the cervix is a pap smear. Yes. And a pap smear has to be looked by a pathologist. It's a pathologist who says this pap smear, it is the correct, it is, it is, it is, it is abnormal pap smear, and it goes on to describe which, which type of pap smear it is, because pap smear is always a range from the normal to, uh, at, at, to atypia mm -hmm. to to, to, to carcinoma, which is invasive, only by looking at the, at, at the pap smear. So the pathologist is actually the doctor who looks mm -hmm. and confirms this is cancer. Okay. So I actually forgot to mention, this is not yeah. just a conversation for women. You know, as a man, you have a sister, you have your mother, you have your wife. So keep tuned, you know, you will get lots of information from this dis discussion. Now, cancer, Dr. Tari, yes. there is no known cause for cancer. Yes. But specifically talking about um, yeah. uh, cervical cancer yes. and the human papilloma virus, yeah. just try to paint a picture for us yeah. of what causes cancer and specifically cervical right. cancer. Right. There is no cause of cancer. And that's when you find that uh, cancer is a mysterious disease because mm -hmm. there's nobody who can say that I'm safe from getting cancer because mm -hmm. cancer is a mysterious disease. Mm -hmm. And there's no single cause of cancer what we have are risk factors of cancer. Okay. The reason why we have cancers in Kenya which are rising very high is because the risk factors have raised. Mm -hmm. there we have got more risk factors than we used to have before. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, for cancer of the cervix, uh, 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 we are seeing that the risk of the cancer of the cervix are supposed to be going down. Mm -hmm. uh, because we, so we, we expect if we take the right steps of cancer of the cervix, mm -hmm. cancer of the cervix can be actually be eradicated from Kenya. If we mm -hmm. take the correct steps, mm -hmm. if we get the correct steps of cancer of the cervix, mm -hmm. we'll be able in the next 20 years, 30 years, we'll not be having women suffering from cancer of the cervix. Mm -hmm. But the major problem is that uh, we, we, we have talked about it, but people are not taking the correct measures to prevent mm -hmm. and to control cancer of the cervix. Because mm -hmm. cancer of the cervix is the most controllable cancer all over the world. Mm -hmm. Most of the, develop, the, the developed countries, there's no cancer of the cervix. You can't mm -hmm. find any woman. Of course, there are a few women who mm -hmm. still have, but it's very rare. Mm -hmm. It's not like in African countries, more so in Kenya, where cancer of the cervix is number two, number two uh, to, 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 to cancer of the breast. Sure. So we find that if we take the correct measures of cancer of the cervix, we can be uh, eradicated now. Human papilloma virus. Mm -hmm. Human papilloma virus is a risk factor to cancer of the cervix. Mm -hmm. All the ladies who have got cancer of the cervix, most of them have got human papilloma virus. Mm -hmm. Human papilloma virus is very common to so many people, and of course the carrier range is, is the carrier rate is almost 95 percent. And that's why we, we normally say that it's good for every woman to be vaccinated of human papilloma virus vaccination. Mm -hmm. But this vac vaccination has not taken taken place in Kenya and of course it came. It, it, there, 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 there were so many myths mm -hmm. and misinformation. Uh, 
about the, about the, the, the vaccination, which yeah. it made people non, not actually to buy it. Mm -hmm. And you find that actually uh, most of the, uh, you can give human papilloma virus vaccine from the girls of 18 years to, the, to, to, to women almost with five years. So oh. it means that uh, uh, there's a wide range when people can be vaccinated against this uh, virus because mm -hmm. we have got so many types of human papilloma virus, there are so many but there are few which actually are directly uh, 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 mm, concerned with causing cancer of the cervix. So mm -hmm. we say that cancer of the cervix is directly related to human papilloma infection. Remember, human papilloma virus is not on, on, only common in, 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 it's not in women alone. Mm -hmm. Also men have got human papilloma virus. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, you find that human papilloma virus in men causes cancer of the penis, which is very rare. So, we, we, so, so, that, so that's why it's, it's always uh, important to vaccinate women and you, 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 you vaccinate men passively. So, because if you, you, vaccinate, you vaccinate women, it means that they, they will not be able to, to transfer that uh, uh, virus to men. Mm -hmm. And because cancer of the cervix is very common, and it's common in Kenya, that's why we normally recommend for, men, for women to be, to, 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 to be given human papilloma virus vaccine. vaccine. Yeah. Okay. I'll be getting to the vaccination question yeah. uh, in a few, yeah. but there's something you mentioned, yeah. the steps. Yeah. You did say that if, we, if there, are, there are steps that we yeah. should follow for yeah. prevention, what are these steps? Uh, the steps of, the, of, of, of prevention, the most important thing is actually to get the correct information mm -hmm. and to go for screening. Mm -hmm. Cancer of the cervix, the bottom line is screening and the screening is the pap smear. Mm -hmm. And we normally recommend, uh, my recommendation is that we, we, I, I normally recommend women to be done uh, screening for pap smear every two years, between the age of 18 years to mm -hmm. age of 50 years. Mm -hmm. And then between the age of 50 years to age of 75 years, they should be done the screening of cancer of the cervix uh, 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 within four years. Mm -hmm. And then after 75 years, if you have, be, you, you have been following and you don't have any signs of cancer of the cervix, you are not supposed to be screened after 75 years. Why? Because cancer of the cervix takes almost 10 years to develop. Mm -hmm. From the time you have the first changes, which, which, which we call it dysplasia, we have got uh, three types of the dysplasias. Mm -hmm. We have got the mild dysplasia, moderate dysplasia, and severe uh, dysplasia, and then we've got invasive cancer. Those four steps, mm -hmm. before you come to invasive cancer, it means that that, uh, uh, that disease has been with you for 10 years, mm -hmm. minimum. Mm -hmm. It means that you can be able to get, to get the cancer of the cervix within this, uh, these 10 years. And that's why if we take the correct steps of screening by using pap smear, I find that the, uh, uh, the cancer will be detected early, and when detected early, the treatment is normally very easy and mm -hmm. straightforward. Mm -hmm. But you find that most of our women, uh, almost 75% of women, they come at stage four when the cancer uh, has actually gone mm -hmm. and, and, and spread. Remember, mm -hmm. very important is that cancer has no signs and symptoms. Exactly. Cancer stage one, stage two, stage three. Stage three may have signs and symptoms, but one and two, it has got no signs and symptoms. And it's actually It painless. is when you are in stage four, yeah. when you start having symptoms. And remember, uh, when you start having the symptoms, it takes a bit of time to come to, to, come, to come to the doctor. So by the, by the time pe uh, people come uh, to, 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 to our hospital, we find that most of them are actually in, in, in stage four. Mm -hmm. Something very important. Cancer can be treated and be, be cured irrespective of the stage. Mm -hmm. Because there are so many people who think that because I'm in stage four, there's no need. When you're told by the doctor that I'm in stage four, uh, there's no need. Cancer can be treated and cured at any stage. But what matters is the outcome. Stage one, stage two, the query is very high. Stage four, the query is very low. But we still have the people who come stage four and they are cured and go home and stay cancer free. Cancer can be treated and, and cured, cured at irrespective any stage of the stage. Of the stage, yes, right? Yes, but yes, it's yes. better, of course, at the first stage. The, the, the first stage, stage. and it's, 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 it's always easy and it's always uh, uh, straightforward. Certainly. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the vaccine. Yeah. Now, is it already roll, rolling out in Kenya per se? Yeah. Say, for instance, in private hospitals for the women. Mm. And uh, can there be a vaccine for men? I actually did find it yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, in my yeah. research. Is there one for men? Mm. There's a vaccine, for instance, but there's no. The, yeah. There, there, there's, there's no need of vaccinating, vaccinating men because mm -hmm. cancer of the penis is very rare. Okay. But it's caused by the same disease, okay. by the same virus, but it's very rare. So there's no need uh, of vaccinating uh, men for H uh, human papilloma virus. But mm -hmm. it is assumed that, mm -hmm. or we assume that when you, vac you, you vaccinate women, you vaccinate men passively. Sure. Uh, because what, what you don't want is the spread of the disease uh, from one person to, to, to another. That's mainly the, the virus. And that's why we said that cancer of the cervix is, on, in, in quotes, 
sexually transmitted mm -hmm. uh, in courts. But it, it does not mean that when you don't have, when you have got cancer of the cervix, you have got human papilloma virus. But most of the people who have got cancer of the cervix have got human papilloma virus mm -hmm. in infection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's talk about the symptoms. You did yeah. say there is no symptom. Yes. And yes. again, it is painless. Yes. Yes. So it yes, is very yes. difficult yeah. to know. So yeah. that's why there's need for uh, diagnosing via Pap smear, for instance. Right. right? Yes, yes. But the symptoms. Yeah. Um, uh, could there be some, like, you know, for instance, discharge? Oh, yes, yes. There are, there are, there are, there are symptoms of cancer of the cervix. Yes. And the first is... Things that we may ignore, yeah, for instance, yeah. as women. And I've seen this, actually, most of women who visit, who, who, who visit our hospital in the best hospital, is South Sea. Mm -hmm. We find that, actually, there are so many people come with discharge. The first thing is discharge. Mm -hmm. And that discharge, which is the smell, is not very good. We call it foul, uh, uh, foul uh, uh, discharge. Foul not, not discharge. very good. And you have that discharge for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. And then after discharge, there's, there's what we call post bleeding that uh, after sex you start having bleeding mm -hmm. uh, 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 and that we call it that's actually the most of the first signs of in women when you call post coital bleeding that means that your, your, there's, there's, your, your, your cancer is, is, is actually in, in the cervix and another one is spotting you find that uh, people start sp uh, spotting in between the periods mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and you find that this spotting keeps on becoming more frequent and more frequent and more frequent mm -hmm. and then you find that for, for, for women for women who are in, in menopause that their, their periods are very stops they start having periods again mm -hmm. they start having bleeding again so they start with di with discharge to uh, spotting to post bleeding and then they start having bleeding for a long time mm -hmm. most of the people by the time they come they, they have got a lot of bleeding and they have lost a lot, have lost a lot of blood mm -hmm. so in fact the first thing which we do is to start uh, uh, transfusing that patient mm -hmm. which actually is it, it is actually a step uh, 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 backwards. Mm -hmm. The other symptoms is just having some minor abdominal pain, mm -hmm. uh, which is, of course, most people don't take it serious because cancer is not painful until the last stage. Mm -hmm. and, sure. and then we have got people who come very late and, and they, they have stopped, they, they, their urine has got issues mm -hmm. because the cancer has grown and blocked the passage of, the passage of urine. Mm -hmm. So we find that people are not passing urine and that becomes a, bi a, a bit of complication. In fact, most of the people with cancer of the cervix, they have, they have problems because of passing urine because normally the, 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 the cancer blocks the the, 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 the ureters, and then you find that the, the, the urine cannot blow, the can, 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 cannot flow the blunder, or actually the cancer uh, invades uh, and all it goes to the blunder and then destroys the, the, destroy the, 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 the blunder. So that, that's actually one of the first signs that the, the women can. By the time women come with, with, that, with that problem, it's already a bit late. Mm -hmm. But you remember what I've said, and I'll repeat it again, that cancer is treatable and end time and is curable at end time. Sure. Yes. Is weight loss and uh, pain in the leg part of the symptoms? Not really. Not really. Uh, weight loss, it comes in stage four. Late okay. stage four, actually. It's okay. when you start having weight loss. Most people actually, when by the, come, by the time they come to stage four, mm -hmm. there's no difference in the... Uh, in their weight. Pains in the leg, they come very late when, when actually uh, uh, the, the, the cancer uh, blocks the, the, the blood flow uh, okay. from the legs up because the, the cancer is in the pelvis and you know in the, in the, in the pelvis is, is where the, the blood flows from the legs up to the heart mm -hmm. and then also in the pelvis we have the, 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 the urine flows from the, from, from, from the kidneys to, to, to the blood. So there's, those are signs of late uh, cancer and then by that time actually uh, uh, the cancer spread to other places because remember cancer apart from being in the cervix mm -hmm. it can it can it it not can it always goes or metastasizes to the lungs, to mm -hmm. the brain, mm -hmm. uh, to the bone. Mm -hmm. uh, so by the time we have got the, 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 the lung has gone all, all over the body. That's why it's always very important when you catch, capture the, can, the cancer when it's localized. Mm -hmm. That's stage one and, and stage two. When it's localized, because once you remove it, you have cured the cancer. But when you get the cancer and it has already moved out of the cervix to other parts of the body, it becomes a bit complicated. Mm -hmm. Yes. Dr. Terry, let's talk about the numbers, yeah. the statistics. Yeah. Uh, now I know it's number two yes. after breast cancer cancer yeah. it causes so many deaths yeah, yeah, annually yes, yes, especially yes, yeah. in kenya let's yeah. talk about the kenyan context yeah. but uh, as a doctor as yeah. a doctor yeah. and uh, the number of patients that you see yeah. over the years yeah. is the number increasing is it decreasing how are we as a country in terms yeah. of the numbers in in fact, my, my, my guess, uh, you know, I, I've, I've, done, I've done pathology for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've, kind of, I've done a lot of research on cancer of the cervix. And also I've, I've started uh, cancer registry in Cambridge, mm -hmm. and that is 2000. And remember, when we started cancer registry in Cambridge 2000, cancer of the cervix was still, was number one. 2000 oh. was number one. Okay. And then at the day, as the years grow, uh, have gone by, uh, cancer of the cervix became number two. Cancer of the breast became number one. Number one sure. So you find that... Uh, the, it's not that the numbers of cancer of the cervix are reducing by the 
the numbers of cancer of the breast are increasing. increasing. So we still have the same numbers of cancer of the cervix. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's why I've said that cancer of the cervix, we can be able to drop it to number 10 mm -hmm. if we take the correct uh, steps. So that one, one thing is that cancer of the cervix is, is still very common. And what is actually more of a concern is that most of the women who get cancer of the cervix are at lower age. Mm -hmm. Before we used to see the age of the age of it, five years, mm -hmm. 60 years, cancer of the cervix. But nowadays, we are seeing ladies uh, with the 25 years, 28 years, uh, 30 years, 40 years. In fact, the peak age now of cancer of the cervix is around 35 years. Mm -hmm. It means that cancer of the cervix has dropped almost with 20 years, mm -hmm. but from 55 to 35 years. Mm -hmm. By the age of 40, most of women have got cancer of the cervix. Remember that when you've got cancer of the cervix at the age of 35 years, that cancer started when we were 25 years. Mm. And then when we were at, 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 at 30 years, cancer of the cervix means that that cancer started uh, developing cancer, cancer of 20 years. Yes. And that's why we're telling women that it's important for every woman to be done uh, pap smear. Yes. And I recommend pap smear for every woman. And personally, I recommend a woman to have, in fact, I recommend at least once in a lifetime. Mm -hmm. If any of you are not done and pap smear, uh, just once in a lifetime, just make sure you, make a, you, you do a pap smear because mm -hmm. If I do a pap smear today and you have no cancer of the cervix or you have no signs cancer of the cervix, you are free for 10 years. For 10 years, sure. And if I do sure. a pap smear today and you have got cancer of the cervix, you have been having that signs and symptoms of cancer for the last 10, 10 years. years. Yes. So we recommend women. I know it's not very easy uh, for most of the women, especially in the rural area. Remember, cancer of the cervix is common in the rural area mm -hmm. because of risk factors which are add up, uh, 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 apart from human papilloma virus. So mm -hmm. most of cancer of the cervix we find in the rural areas. Most of cancer of the cervix is actually common in ladies who are uh, I say in the rural areas mm -hmm. and be because of, of other factors. So it's very important in the rural area. And that's now we normally recommend the ladies in the rural area to be done what we are calling via vili. Via vili is better. Of course, it's better than nothing, mm -hmm. but it is not the recommended, the recommended method. It's the recommended method to uh, in the areas which they cannot assess a pathologist, is area where they cannot be able to assess uh, 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 somebody who can be able to report pa uh, uh, pap So, uh, and that's why that with the Kenyan population and the, and the, and the personnel we have, uh, we can, we, it's, it's, it's important actually for those who can be done via Vili, it's good to be done via Vili and then in case they see something abnormal or just to examine the, to, to be examined the cervix, especially the women who in, are in their, product, their reproductive age, mm -hmm. the, that's a women who, who, who actually uh, go to, the, to take their children, uh, their, their babies to the clinic mm -hmm. it's important that they are, at least they are done pap smear or, or, or somebody looks at, at, at the cervix because that's very important. Remember most of the cancers, and that's why cancer of the cervix is a problem, because the position and where the cancer, the, the cervix is, is, so, is not somewhere where you can know what's happening. It's not like the breast. Anybody can touch the breast and examine it and mm. feel that I've got a swelling here and there. Mm. You can touch your skin, you can touch your liver, you can touch your mm. abdomen and find that there's something swollen there. But where the, the, the cervix is, somebody has to, has to be able to do it. And perhaps me, most people think that is a bit, it's not uncomfortable, it's quite easy. So I recommend that most of women, they should be able to go for, for, for perhaps me, sure. especially when, when, when they are being offered. And of course, nowadays, you've got, uh, of course, a lot of people are doing the, 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 the perhaps me. It's very important for a woman to make sure that at least uh, uh, he, 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 he goes to be done uh, uh, and even pap smear is not that, that, that very expensive, even if it's not offered for free, mm -hmm. because most, mo, mo, most of the hospitals, they charge between 3000 and 4000 mm -hmm. Once in a while, it's, 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 it's very important if you can go, go to be done that pap smear. And that's why one of my comment for women, at least to be done pap smear, because sometimes as a doctor, when the, uh, 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 the patient comes to me and has got cancer of the cervix and the stage four, you feel it. You think that this woman should have been saved a long time. Mm -hmm. And we have treated so many from our hospital in South Sea, and we have seen so, so many women have treated that have gone home free of cancer. And, and of course, they, 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 they have stayed for, for, for a bit of time. Mm -hmm. I know treatment is a bit uh, uh, complicated. It's not treating cancer. It's not like treating diabetes or hypertension or malaria. It's a bit complicated. It's a bit long. And, 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 and somebody needs to understand, and the family need, 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 need to understand the, 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 the way you can be able to, uh, to be treated. Because what we find is that most of the people who have got cancer of the cervix, the, the, the modalities of treatment, you have to take a minimum of six months coming to see the doctor for treatment. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you'll be advised. Most people, they come for once or twice and then they go home and they don't come back, back again. Mm -hmm. And that cancer is partially, uh, partially treated mm -hmm. and when it comes back, it's, not, it's, it's normally very aggressive. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now that you mentioned the treatment, let's talk more about it. What yeah. treatment is there, especially in stage four and 
three and four. Yeah. And what kind of support do you need from your family? Because, mm. I, you know, most mm. of the times when you're diagnosed with cancer, you see death, yeah. right? Yes, yes, So what, yes, what yes. kind I've of, seen, what seen kind that. of I've support seen that. do you I've need that. from your family, from your friends? Right. The, 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 first, let me start with the modalities of treatment because mm -hmm. that's very important. The first treatment of patient with cancer is counseling. The first treatment. Counseling is to be told that you've got cancer and the counseling should be done to you and to a close mem family members because mm -hmm. it's a long, it's a long uh, 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 process. And, and that's why I normally recommend that when somebody can, uh, has got cancer, the first thing we do the counseling before we start the treatment because mm -hmm. that's normally very important. And we prefer that people are given counseling by a, by a professional counselor mm -hmm. uh, we, where, where it talks about the cancer and the outcome and what to expect because you expect a lot from the family because remember, Cancer is draining both health-wise, is draining financially, mm -hmm. even especially. Very sure. important because sure. people need uh, uh, somebody to cancer because once you start the, the, the treatment, you can have so many complications and you need to be told about these complications. The first complication, apart from financial and other things and time you spent in the hospital, is that you, your hair start falling down mm -hmm. and your nails start to change mm -hmm. and start having vomiting, having, having diarrhea, losing weight and uh, not having blood. Because remember, uh, what uh, cancer is, is a part of the body. Is, is part of the body, but that part of the body grows very fast. And when it's growing very, very fast, we normally kill uh, uh, the cancer cells by using drugs or by using the chemotherapy. Uh, uh, those drugs, as, as they kill the fast growing cells, mm -hmm. they also kill the other normal cells which we need, like the, 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 the air and, 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 and the nails and also the cells in, okay. in the gut. Terry, so yes. sorry, I need to cut you short. I'm told yeah. we need to wind up. But yes. one last question. Is it lifestyle related? The kinds of food, the kind of foods that we eat. Is it lifestyle related? Cancer of the cervix? No, it is not. It's not related to the kind of type of food we eat. Uh -huh. Is cancer of the uh, cervix is not uh, lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's one of the cancers which is not lifestyle. Is more of uh, the 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 other associated factors, okay. which actually remember I said is common in the villages. Is 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 more common in poor countries. That's why in Western countries it's not there. It's very rare because it's, con it's actually more of the, 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 the poor uh, 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 families. Okay. Yeah. okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Really you, yes. enlightening there. Yeah.